Hi, today we're going to talk about setting up a credit card in QuickBooks Online. It's uh, very important. Some companies have transactions throughout the month on a credit card and they don't book anything until they actually make the payment on the credit card. A problem with this is that the transactions don't get recorded in the proper period. The, the transactions need to be reported on the date they actually occur, not necessarily when you're making that payment on your credit card, which could be you know, a month later. So uh, to do it, it's very easy. I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online, and you go to Banking and Credit Cards. And if there isn't one, it'll start with Add New. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, you can put in whatever you'd like here, whether it's American Express or, or however you want to name it. You can even put the credit card number if you'd like. Uh, and some of the uh, banks or credit card companies allow you to download transactions right from their website, which is nice. Not all of them do it, but some of them do. And that makes it a lot easier to get transactions into QuickBooks. Uh, I'm going to say no here. And I'm going to assume that this is the first, first statement so that there is no prior balance. And hit finish. And so now we have a credit card, and you can see the balance here is zero. So at any, any point, if you have a transaction and you want to record it, a uh, credit card transaction, you just come in here, you go to banking, credit card expense, uh, pick the credit card, and we just created one. And you would record the transaction, whether, whether, whatever the date is who you purchased it from, and then the, the appropriate expense. Let's say it's advertising. And I'll go ahead and record, let's say we have $100 advertising with, uh, let's see, Winchester. Let's put that in there. And you can even put a memo if you want to put a quick description of who it was to, what it was for, advertising for the paper or something like that, signs, whatever it was for, put it in there. Uh, and now you can see the balance has increased. At the end of the month when you get your statement, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to banking, more, and reconcile, and you can pick that credit card from your list here and then reconcile it. And uh, if you want to learn more about reconciliations, I just recently did a video on that and you can you can uh, watch that video in order to show you the details of all the reconciliations. That's it. It's easy as that. And uh, you can easily monitor your credit card balances, uh, make payments on them. Uh, if you wanted to make a payment on a credit card, you would go to banking, more, or actually write check. Um, and you, let's say it was American Express. Let's not use that one. I don't think that one's in here. So it's a Chase card. I'm going to add that. And you just pick the credit card account when you're paying it. And there it is. Whether Whatever the payment is. Alright, easy as that. And I hope you get all your transactions. Make sure you're picking up everything and recording everything in the proper period. Have any questions? feel free to check out our website or give me a call or email. Thanks for your time.